my friends from this episode through the next few i'm going to discuss with you some of the basic concepts of nlp once you understand this you will be able to apply nlp principles on your daily life as i explained to you in the last episode nlp helps you to understand human excellence it helps you build a better rapport in order to appreciate that you should understand how the mind and brain work with each other there are what are called presuppositions of nlp presuppositions i'm going to discuss a few of them presuppositions are the principles on which the mind and brain work with each other see we are talking about this dyadic relationship the relationship between two factors brain mind right brain left brain two wheels of a two wheeler so this dyadic relationship is very very important the way these two things work with each other is very very important and so presuppositions are the basic fundamental principles under which the brain and the mind work with each other why are they important i wanted to write down two other words thoughts feelings mind is different thoughts are different feelings are different where do thoughts originate is it in the brain or in the mind mind is a container in which thoughts originate the moment a thought occurs to you then you visualize you are doing it you do an activity while you do an activity you go through your feeling for example as i am doing this episode i feel like having a cup of water a thought occurs to me and i take a, a water i sip as i sip water i feel comfortable supposing instead of water my thought is about having a cup of coffee or a tea or i just want to go have a stroll and come back so there is always a mind a thought a feeling so nlp presuppositions are about how the mind and brain work with each other creating certain thoughts and feelings as i mentioned to you in the previous episodes we are living in a world which is not static which is going on the way it was earlier no it's a highly uh, what shall i say changing environment it's a dynamic society people are not the same as you saw them couple of years ago you cannot expect a person to behave the same way he behaved with you couple of occasions ago you are dealing with human sentiments you are dealing with im- human emotions when you bring about a change either you want to bring about a change in yourself or you want to bring about a change in that others what you look for is a consistency of behavior let's say that um, a person comes to you for help and he says i want to get it of my um, you know addiction to coffee you need to work with him 
in such a way that he is not giving up coffee for a day but he wants to give up you have to help him to give up coffee forever so there is always a consistency of behavior in my organization seminars i am invited to change the mindset of people for example you have to introduce um, let's say a quality system or you want to introduce a productivity system which is new or you want to introduce a total quality management or you want to introduce uh, what is called an iso 9000 it calls for a completely different type of behavior a different pattern of behavior people should believe in it especially a movement like uh, tkm total quality management it is not that you look at the quality of the product it is a total quality the way people understand the way people uh, appreciate the importance of quality in whatever they do so nlp presuppositions are the basic fundamental principles on which the mind and the brain work i'm going to discuss about eight or nine Uh, nlp presuppositions for each one of them i will give you uh, uh, an anecdote and i will also give you an exercise see you in the next episode